Alright, hello guys, and welcome to my first fall 2019 forecast. There should be a couple of installments of this one, as I'm going to be updating it over the months of the summer months, obviously. So, from July and August, there will probably be uh, a second and then a final fall forecast. But before I get started with this video, though, I'd, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. Monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, forecasts for hurricanes, severe weather events, snowfall events, all sorts of weather stuff. I'm going to be uploading daily. My new computer is coming in tomorrow, so uploads are going to get even more frequent. I'm very excited to be bringing you you guys new content so if you are new to the channel uh, please hit that subscribe button if you would be interested in seeing more videos of mine anyway let's get on with the video we're gonna be looking at our temperature forecast comparatively to normal to start things off so obviously above average temperatures means that that the temperatures are gonna be above your average uh, not, not necessarily that it's gonna be warm or cold but it's just gonna be that you know colder or warmer than average so we do see on the west coast here, Washington, Oregon, down through California, we do have above average temperatures in that medium shade of orange, meaning there's an, a higher chance of above average temperatures than in that yellow shade or a little bit orange, but not quite as orange there that extends from Montana down to Texas through to Florida and then back up to Maine, kind of doing a U shape there or a horseshoe shape uh, over the United States. We do see some slight chances at above average temperatures there for the east coast and then up through the Rockies. Now, in your central Great Lakes region of the United States there, you can see that we do have below average temperatures, only the lightest shade of blue there, so it shouldn't be too noticeable, but there will be some below average temperatures for that area, I believe. So Minnesota down through uh, Illinois and then up into Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York, we're expecting some below average temperatures. Now, moving on to your precipitation forecast, you can see there's not a lot to be seen here yet. Uh, California through Arizona and New Mexico into Texas and then into some of those Gulf states in Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, areas like that. We're expecting some chance at above average temperature or er, precipitation, but not much is known as of right now. The temperatures are a little bit easier to get down, but the precipitation is a little bit more of a question mark. But it does look like this area is going to be above average precipitation. But this is more to be seen in the coming months as uh, likely it will extend from this and we'll see some areas of below average precipitation and some more areas of above average precipitation. Now moving on to your uh, overall forecast here and this one's my favorite uh, you can see there's a lot going on here so I'm gonna break it down to you guys color by color here you can see starting off in the Pacific Northwest we have average precipitation the reason I'm saying this is because over the last few years we have been seeing below average precipitation so it is kind of a big deal that we are seeing at least average precipitation as of right now that's what I'm calling for the entire West Coast though is looking to have above average temperatures as you can see in that orange shade Washington Oregon down through California Nevada and portions of Arizona as well well, we're expecting above average temperatures. Now in that white section that extends over the northern Rockies and, and the southern Rockies, we're expecting early snowfall there with uh, the, the, uh, the temperatures being near average and then also a little bit of above average precipitation there for the southern Rockies. So we should be seeing some early snowfall for those areas. Uh, the surrounding areas though in that yellow section are going to be seeing temperature swings. So Montana down through a lot of those rocky areas again. Uh, Nebraska, Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, all of those areas should be seeing temperature swings. Some troughing and then obviously some ridging as well as we'll be seeing above average temperatures kind of in the more western zone of that yellow area. Now south of you though, above average precipitation there for Arizona, New Mexico, and also Texas. We're expecting above average precipitation. Obviously, uh, that won't make too much of a difference as you know we already don't see a lot of precipitation for a lot of those areas, uh, but we will be seeing an above average amount at that. Now for your blue area up here in the Dakotas, Minnesota, Missouri, Great Lakes states as well, we're expecting Arctic blasts or really just colder temperatures than normal for this area. So frequent troughing could be expected at least uh, through most of the fall. There there will be some ridging at times, obviously it won't be troughing all the time, but there will be some uh, ridging again to suppress some of the cold, but I think overall it's going to be cold within that area. Now south of you, we, in that red section, we have severe thunderstorms, uh, most favorable in this location, so Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and Kentucky. I think you're in the most favorable location for severe thunderstorms during the fall months. South of you, we have above average chance at tropical activity close to home there for the Gulf states and then the southeast coast of the United States. Uh, if you looked at my hurricane forecast, which I've already up uploaded, if you haven't watched that, I'd recommend you do watch that. Uh, you did see that we do have an above average chance of development near the coasts of the United States, so I think that's going to lead to a lot of uh, landfalling systems that would only make sense since they're going to be developing really close to the coast. So there's going to be an above average chance at some landfalling storms. 
Now, temperature swings for that little turquoise area there from Georgia up through the Carolinas, the Virginias, and then also Pennsylvania and New York. Same deal as the one uh, that's yellow in the very western United States. We're going to be seeing temperature swings, ridging at time, troughing at time, and it's going to be kind of bipolar. Uh, and then also for New England, we're going to be seeing a late foliage with the above average temperatures. So expect uh, at least a week later probably on the foliage if you are planning to travel up there. The reason I mentioned the foliage is because I know that's a you know really big deal in New England. So I wanted to go ahead and mention that, that I think there will be a late foliage for you guys up there in New England. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fall forecast. This is the first of probably three, like I said. So stay tuned for the next ones. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I'd highly recommend you do that if you do like weather-related content. Anyway. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.